How much karma? Six. Well, I have enough for the melee stuff. Reality is at the end of the day contextual. Yeah, better than life stuff. Go. I'm gonna wait until we're done. Um, I'm gonna wait until we're done. I'm gonna say eventually. Uh, we'll die with the, to this story before I actually assign the points. Just because I think I might get some more points. Well, the shot keeps it back. Hmm. And luck in there! We found an exact match for the DNA, but it was linked to a dead chop shop assistant by the name of Silas Forsberg. Now, I have my theories, but what do you think is going on here, Simplicity? I think Silas faked his death. That's a distinct possibility. What was it that we saw in the autopsy report? <laughs> Not that. Not that, because we don't know that. This. Go catch. That matches up with something I've seen runners try. It's easy enough to find a body shop that'll make a replica set of teeth for you. Find some schlub off the street no one will miss. Swab the teeth and throw uh, the heat off your trail for a while. Lucky I've never been that desperate. But why will he need to go to those lengths? Did the police records of something linking him to different crime? He had that. True, wouldn't look too good on someone's record if they wanted to become a doctor. I think this is the beginning to come together. The late Silas left all his belongings to a doctor. Dr. Holmes. Employment records have found him at the Administrator of Mercy Mental. And the picture on his fire matches the person you saw downtown. The same person this DNA belongs to. All the evidence points to him being your killer, whoever he really is. Honestly, Ripper is pretty much a psychopathic, so there's nothing that, like, I don't know. I think he made this, he made himself disappear to be able to do what a psychopath wants to do, right? Um, this is just dickish. This is also, this is interesting, actually. I'm going to go this one. Please pay him my respects. I always find that high caliber rounds get the message across. You should clearly hire some friends and go loaded from there. I side a lo I side loaded a ton of valuable data from those Lone Star Matrix nodes. Here's your cut. Oh. Cool. I'll see you later then. No, he's not coming, obviously. What did I get? Just straight up money, I think. I guess. Hire runners and head to Mercy Mental Hospital. Well then. Okay, well first off, I think karma points. We are running off again and I think... I think I'd rather have a little bit of uh, charisma before I run off. Dude, shadow run I'm a shadow runner, come on. And I can't get another one. Dang. Well, okay. We're gonna do minus this one. Uh, we're gonna finish the melee weapons that I wanted. All right. Well, now I'm a shadow runner. That's nice. So I can buy decking stuff. You're the weapon shop. I think I'm gonna need a sword. Blah blah blah. Let me see. You got. Um, anything interesting rifle wise? Shogun. Shogun or shotgun? That doesn't look like a shotgun. Yeah, whatever. I'm just looking at the. Uh, I just want to look at the. Uh, it just as deadly. It's even more deadly, actually. I'm guessing maybe it has um, required close combat three. Dang it! May do AP damage on a critical hit. 
Why is... I mean, what's the difference between these two? One's cool. Maybe the chance to do damage is bigger, I don't know. That's who, that's what I came here for. Uh, you have med kits, I think, actually. No, you don't. You have repair kits. I'm gonna need a doctor. I'm thinking about the rifle thing. This does more damage. <coughs> but I get the feeling it's not as automatic, so I can't do the big unload and kill a guy thing that I can usually do. The Smopel is slightly better, but I'm not sure like four more bullets bullets is worth 800. I'll leave it be for the moment, just to confirm this. Thank you. Went right here. Excellent. Confirm. Actually, let me see what you got. Let's bring that too. I just a basic assault rifle that is surprisingly. Oh no, that's the other thing. That's the thing I don't want, right? Special specialist. Wait. Where is that? Slightly more accurate than its other competitors. It's also a lot bigger capacity, more damage. I don't know if it's... Um, I'm gonna go with this, actually. I'm a bruiser, man. I like guns. Okay. <laughs> That's what I do! It's what I do! Oh, man. Let's also check on the clothes guy. There's a cockroach in my eggs! Just get it out of there then. You don't wanna- oh boy. A ganger mask! Which seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> Quickness 1 HP 5, that's pretty good. Refurb UCAS shock gear. Huh. Mage wear. Charisma and Spirit Control. First Nations Armor. Golden Boy. <laughs> Matrix Core. Intelligence ESP Control. Hmm. Just looking at the options. I'm gonna lose one dodge, but I think one quickness and five HP is pretty worth it. Also, I am gonna look like a... Gonna have that mask, man. Why? I'm doing this to myself, alright? I just am. Confirm. Why do I do this to myself? I'll take a look. I actually wanna sell the old outfit. Got a new magic, I'm gonna look silly the rest of my days. Hey. I look like Drek. That's the mask, okay? It's not me. <laughs> Everything alright here, actually? Yeah, fine. Just get a map myself. Daisy, I tend to be slow, so I volunteered at a medical center on the other side of Touristville, and I had a rough shift. What happened, actually? What always happens, some run or some deal or some meat went south, one thing led to another, etc, etc. I didn't hear all the details, all I really know is what came in on the lips of the victims healthy enough to still speak. Is what came in on the lips of the victims? What? Apparently, one of the Baron's gangs incurred the wrath of the local Siulpa rings, leading to a rolling shootout through the city streets, several bystanders were injured. But the real master didn't begin until the party crashed into the yard of an old industrial plant out on Union Hill Road. They woke some sort of toxic spirit, which then began running a mark, causing easily as much damage as the initial battle. And we were left to pick up the pieces, of course. But enough about my troubles, let's hear about yours. Tell me what ails you. I was looking for a side quest and you were looking promising for a while there, but mm, you didn't have it. I want to see the child cyberware because that's another thing. Essence cost 1.5. More HP. I'm good on HP right now, I think. One body and plus two armor. Well. 
do more movement sounds nice but it's essence cost two five thousand two holy shit eight HP and one quickness is awesome what does quickness do aside from chance to hit with ranged weapons does it do anything Chance to hit and reduces chance to be hit by physical attacks. Doesn't do that much. <laughs> it does stuff, but it doesn't do that much. Man, I, I feel like I've been missing out on stuff here. Still kind of bums me. Whatever. We're fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna get charisma to four and then we're gonna... Because that's the new etiquette and I think I'm just gonna leave it there. It. It's going to open up the simpler dialogue options, and it's going to give me two etiquettes, which is going to have to be enough. Shh, still sleeping in there. You don't look like you're sleeping, boy. Oh, it's Mr. Delilah. Hi. I feel lucky for runners again. I'm your guy, discreet service only. I do need to hire a crew. Alright, oh, our full crew is like three people, goddamn. What is Adept? Like, melee, unarmed melee in fact. Chi casting, oh, well that's interesting. And then, oh, okay, it's just Chi casting. I don't actually know what Chi casting does for me. You're better at chi casting, so I think it's gonna be you. <laughs> Just because I want to know what chi casting is all about. Um, there were three adepts actually. Whatever. Um, I do want a decker as usual, so it's gonna be you. And then. I guess a mage. I liked this lady, but 1600, holy sh... Hmm. Feels like it's costing me a lot. I mean, I like you. Oh, it's free! Free. Free stuff is free. Also, it's gonna be haste, and that's gonna be really nice. Conjuring 5. You can conjure stuff, I didn't notice. Oh, hey, she has more spells. She has slow. It's movement though, it's not AP. AP would have been amazing. Oh. If summoning is consumables, I don't like that. Probably why I didn't use it. This is awesome though, AP 2 and cooldown 3. AP 1, cooldown 1. That means I can do slow, just I can spam it. I, mean, I just like Shannon, she's free. Unfortunately, Coyote is not in there, because I get the feeling she would be free as well. Let's do it. So she wants to be in, because um, it's about the Ripper. I get the feeling she wouldn't be free, or she wouldn't even be there if it wasn't for the Ripper. Mercy Mental Hospital. The blood you found in the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as a one Dr. Holmes. Wait, what? Wait, what? How do we know he's masquerading as him? I don't get that. And you've tracked him to Mercy Mental Hospital, located in the notoriously anti meta human farmlands of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. Despite the present pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one steps or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up the hospital steps to confront Samwat's killer and bring an end to the Emerald City Ripper. I don't think it's gonna end the Ripper, although I will say I get the feeling that there was this jump of logic of, uh, yeah, he faked his death with, he killed the psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist is the actual body. But I get where that idea came from, because it was an elf, so he was like, 
oh, I found the guy. He's an elf. That means I can actually, you know, uh, that's the first time I'm treated by an elf. I'm going to swap positions with him. That's going to be that. I guess he just found his victim. He was happy because he found his victim. Something like that. I am not giving items anymore to anybody, although... Are you the one I gave? The, the, is this the med, med pack I gave you the last time? I think maybe it is, which would mean that they, you know, keep the inventory I give them. That could be nice. So you're a melee attacker more than anything, and then you do these. Stride, movement, uh, passive, adept's movement is increased by two. Active, increased by a further two for three rounds. So the chi casting, they are they have passive uh, buffs and they can activate the thing to gain even more, if I understand correctly. This is just passive, in fact. Sometimes it's both, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's the other, I guess. Add up gains a light cover bonus to magic spells. That's nice. Killing hands. Passive unarmed damage is increased by four. Active unarmed damage increased by a further six for four rounds. So I don't want to use the machete. I don't know why I would have it. Manifest. Powerful magical punch that ignores armor. Cool. Damage 10. Does it count as unarmed damage? Because that means killing hands is going to apply as well. Cooldown 6. For 4 rounds though. So you're only like, it's only on cooldown and unusable for 2 rounds. So the adepts are spellcasters that can only buff themselves. That could make for an interesting character later on. You know, because that's gonna be charisma, I guess? Wait, uh, what stat is... Well, we can look later what kind of stack, uh, stat um, chi casting is dependent on. It's the same as... Um, it's willpower, right? So we can have like a willpower intelligence character and have some... Well, no. I don't know exactly what kind of character I would do, but, you know, some, something interesting. There's something interesting there, I think. I think it's an interesting class for a main character, not so much for, like, a sidekick. I, I forgot to look at everybody else, but whatever. I think we're fine. We don't have much healing. I'm the only healing we have, me and Medpax, but uh, we're trying adepts. Honestly, I think... I had the crew that I wanted last time because you get the haste with Shannon. Shannon is maybe the third, the party I would the most consider getting rid of because the mage gave me a lot of uh, sustainability with the heals that she could just spam every turn, I think. Or was it other spells? She could spam like accuracy and everything, so that means the decker is actually, the decker is actually better at when she's not decking she's actually useful in the fight because she can be buffed completely and then um how was i gonna say yeah the decker is there just to hack into things because that's necessary i feel like that's necessary maybe it's not but welcome ma'am what business brings you to mercy mental hospital <laughs> uh, i'm here for homes Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Actually, what time is it? Mm, I think... I think it's about time for me to end it. It's better now than after this, because I think it's going to take longer than I want the recording to be. So, next time, we may or may not confront a killer. I still think a spirit is the real killer, and they just clean up afterwards. From what the spirit was telling me, it's like... Oh yeah, there's a big evil spirit comes in, kills the guy, and then I think the chop shop person just comes in later and chops the guy with the with the help of the troll, the troll with the prosthetic, the old prosthetic arm. Because remember the the little uh, street shop person said that that was a troll with a cybernetic uh, hand, an old cybernetic. Hand. Anyway. Next time, we may or may not confront the killer. That's what I said. Until then, see y'all.